<laughs> hey, check it out. Invisible land canoe. Jesus. <laughs> okay, come on. Enough messing around. I am not bringing a motorcycle on a stealth mission, as cool as that is. Kind of looks like Indiana Jones' motorcycle. That is a sweet bike, isn't it? Leather seats and everything. Damn, that is a nice bike. So, the Ghost Recon team... Oh, crap, 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 crap. Ah! The Ghost Recon team challenged me to their one bullet challenge. Basically, what that challenge means is we've got to finish a mission just using one bullet per ghost. And I guess you could say I'm doing it on hard mode because I don't have four ghosts. I got me and Bob, so that's two bullets. Jesus, these guys are nosy. Whew, gotta make sure we're not spotted. Since we can only use two bullets total, one bullet per ghost, uh, yeah, we're gonna have to pick and choose our targets very carefully. Oh, look at that, he ditched the jacket. Rocking some tats too. Sun's out, guns out. I get that. And you got a cigar. Oh my god. Looks like she's going all big boshes like me. Uh, we got a problem. <laughs> the problem is we need to get to the back of this FOB base. That's the only way we're going to be able to do this mission stealthily. And we cannot circumvent that fence because we got a little uh, outpost, a little converted police station. I got an idea though. As long as that sniper in that tower doesn't spot us, we can use this vehicle as a fairly stealthy Trojan horse. This is a stupid idea, isn't it? Oh boy. Oh boy. Well, we're in! Not too shabby. Sniper hasn't spotted us yet. I am not wasting my bullet on that guy. Bob! Get over here! Get over here, Bob! Thank you. I probably should have waited to do this mission at night. Oh god. Oh god, we gotta get down in the mud. Got our elbows and knees all dirty. I'm gonna try to rock this mission like a splinter cell. Oh crap. Oh nice, nice. Bob is following my lead. She's no, she knows what she's doing. Just you wait. Bob is gonna have to save my ass at the end of this. That's kind of cool. It's starting to rain. Maybe that's gonna help us out. You know, the sound of the rain may drown out the footsteps. You good, Bob? Gotta watch out for that guy. Sniper. The Look at his piggly ass up there. Oh! Yeah, rocks are our friends. <laughs> now that would be one hell of an entrance. What if we kept that motorcycle just ramped it? Anyway, um, crap! What I would love for you guys to do is to do the one bullet challenge yourselves. And if you do it, tweet at me what mission you did. Choose your favorite mission. See if you can tackle it with just one bullet per ghost. And let me know how it goes. Let me know if you have an easy time, hard time, fun time. Maybe a combination of those. Alright, we're doing pretty well so far. Uh, this isn't the gun I'm going to be using my first bullet out of. I'm not going to be uh, rocking the Mark 17. No, no, no. I'm going to be using the Deagle. The D-50. <laughs> Obviously, that would be a horrible idea. I'm just going to go ahead and utilize my trusty MSR. Which is a fantastic sniper rifle. Alright, Bob, you got to be faster than that. This guy's on his feet. I'm thinking that's probably going to be one of our targets. So we only have two bullets. Now, unless these guys are going to line up like dominoes, that means two targets are going to be eliminated. We have to decide which target. This is our opening. At least I thought it was our opening. Had to double back, find a way inside of the barbed wire. I guess you could say this base is giving us the runaround. Ha <laughs> All right, uh, let's send Mr. Drone out, see what he can spot. So we're going to need to memorize everybody inside of this base's job. What they do, what their patrol is, where they're going, where they're snooping, where they're pooping, all of that is valuable information. Especially inside of this prison yard, that's where it's going to get really hairy. So they've got everything in this base. They've got tanks, they've got helicopters, they've got heavies. Which are going to be very dangerous. Yo, we got that troops. And they've got a few heavies on patrol as well as a helicopter. So helicopter is going to be big. Looks like that heavy is just making his way around. He's going to be dangerous. He's caught up in a conversation right now. For how long? Who knows? We got to move fast. Sniper is looking the other way on the right hand tower. Left tower is going to have to be a takedown unless he moves. I think we're ready for this. We just got to move in, head to that gate. Infiltrate the prison and interrogate the mark. Once that's done, it'll be game over. It, it, a good game over, not a one of the bad game overs. Yeah, I'm gonna need to take that sniper down. 
use my first bullet, my only bullet. With the MSR, of course, let me switch that over. Beautiful. Okay, Bob. Yeah, one bullet. Okay. You gotta use that wisely, very wisely. We're not getting a second chance, so let's just make sure that we stay in cover and spot everybody. I don't know how I missed him. <laughs> let's make sure I don't do that again. You know what? Let's actually go with another drone overview. When I played Splinter Cell, when I played Splinter Cell, I never stopped. The game stopped releasing. Um, I always, always use that snake hammer to the door. And in Ghost Recon Wildlands, I try to make as much use of this drone as humanly possible. Looks like it's good. What am I going to do? Am I going to infiltrate? Or am I going to sashay my pretty little self around the town square? I'm going to infiltrate. As long as we stick to cover, we'll be okay. Same thing with uh, any stealth game, you know? Trash cans are your friend. Dumpsters are your friend. Everything is your friend that you can put between you and the enemy. And I... You know, I'm gonna see if we can find a back door. The Sam Fisher would do. Sam Fisher doesn't enter through the front door. That's what the enemies expect. There's no back door. You know what? That's okay because it's kind of dawning on me that enemies would expect you to come through the back door, not the front door. So let's just go through the front door. <laughs> I'm tiring myself out. All right, Bob's in position. I'm in position, and oh shit! Ah, didn't even realize we had a guy on the stairs. That. Makes our whole plan very messy. Oh, great, now he's facing me. Wait, does he suspect me? Shit, can he see me through that grate? No. He can't see me, see me through that grate flooring, right? I would be so screwed if he could. Can he? Oh, God, he can't! It was at this moment, Massive knew he fucked up! <laughs> That didn't go according to plan, but everything's been restarted. We're basically from square one. It's a clean slate. We both have one bullet each, and we have the, the entire up. mission to do. Okay. Mr. Drone's gonna spot everything Sniper he can, the and the prison yard is where this really gets tough. I don't know. It's the patrols, they're one thing, you know. The sniper towers, they're another, but this prison yard, this is what is really gonna be uh destroying our asses. <laughs> Inside and out. But it is nighttime, so that fingers crossed should make us more difficult to spot. I don't think these guys actually have night vision goggles. We do. We've got night vision. We also have thermal vision, which is going to go a long way in us spotting them before they spot us. But I guess we're ready to go. Let's double check the position of the snipers. Okay, sniper tower five is perfect. Six is a problem. I'm going to utilize my one bullet against six. That's a headshot. They're suspecting us, so let's just uh, stay back a little bit. I don't know who the hell has eyes on Tower 6, though. That's the thing. Tower 6 should be clear. I think Tower 5 may have heard our shot. The MSR, it's its a damn good rifle, but it's not the quietest rifle, even with a suppressor. All right, he's cooled off. Let's make our way inside. One final check of the perimeter. Make sure nobody is on patrols tonight. All right, it looks like we're good. I'm looking at a small group of tangos. Normal patrol is uh, caught up in a conversation, and Sniper Tower Five is still clear. All right, Bob, let's move in. Shit, that was close. I forgot about that guy. Oh, Bob, Bob, wait. Bob can't hear me. Bob, don't, don't go, <laughs> don't go. Bob and I have this little game we play. It's called Ghost Recon Wildlands. <laughs> No, uh, when Bob and I are playing Ghost Recon Wildlands, sometimes we just don't play with mics. We try to go off of each other's cues. And... You good? You good? Oh shit, spotlight's on Bob. Oh, thank God. They're suspecting us, but... We're in the clear. Alright, as soon as the spotlight continues rotating, let's move over to the wall, hug it, and get to the base. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. We wasted a lot of time though, so I'm gonna assume that we may have some trouble. Might not be a bad idea for Bob to just stay on the outskirts of this wall and be my lookout, you know, keep watch. Especially for that heavy patrol. If the heavy patrol makes its way around, she could just take a headshot and you wouldn't be any issue for us on our escape. Yeah, you know, that's a good idea. It's too bad I can't convey it to Bob. Spotting us. So, what if I use the noisemaker on the drone? 
Yeah, I think that could work. Problem is, I've never used it before, so I don't know how close I need to be. Kinda wish I had Sam Fisher's uh, sticky noise makers he fires from his gun. Are you deaf? Are you oh wait, shit. Now he's not deaf. Now he's not deaf. He's su he's suspicious though. <laughs> he's very suspicious. I guess this is a better function than the noisemaker itself. There you go. Yeah, walk into the base. Perfect. Way to move fast. I'm assuming it's okay. Yep, 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 yep. From cover to cover. From cover to cover. Nice. Nice. Alright, Bob is gonna stay as a lookout. And I'm gonna move in. I figure it'll be safer if Bob is there on the lookout for the escape. And it's more difficult for a single solo operative to be spotted than two ghosts moving through the same place at once. Besides that fact, I'm trying to eliminate redundancy. We don't need two ghosts performing the same objective. If you got multiple people working with you, you may as well have them performing multiple jobs. Alright, this guy is really pissing me off. Shit, that sniper's gonna be a problem. There's a sniper in the watchtower, distant to us. Oh shit, now he's moving too. Oh god! Alright, nice knockout. I'm gonna move in where this guy left because I'm hoping he was the only guy stationed. Looks like I was right about that. Beautiful. Okay, we're in the... Shh, son of a bitch. Son of a bitch, what do I do here? What do I do here? Oh god. <laughs> Element of surprise, I like it. Now I just gotta find our man. Whoa, look at that. Alright, no distractions. Let's find our man. We're inside of the prison, so it shouldn't be too far from mission complete. Bob's got a status update. Alright, what you say, Bob? I took out three just... Oh, God, no. No. Okay, turns out that it was knockouts. I just had to go and check. She didn't use three bullets. I don't think she's even used a single bullet yet. Uh, there were, uh, guards that were leaving the, uh, prison yard, and she just clocked them in the skull, one after another. Speaking of which, where the hell is this informant? Way to find him, clock him in the skull, not too hard, you know, just hard enough where he, uh, loses his inhibitions, gets talkative. I think he's on this side. What the fuck is going on here? I'm looking for General Barrow. He came to my birthday party once, but he's a cocksucker now. Who the fuck are you? And that's I mission complete. It, it doesn't say mission complete, of course, because I've already completed it. This is a replay, but we finished the one bullet challenge. It took a few tries, but Bob and I, we persevered. We pulled through. And now, we want to have our leisurely stroll out of the base the way we came in. Cyber Tower 6, of course, is dealt with. They are dead. They're not going to be any problem to us any low, oh, my god. Oh, I see. We can't leave the way we came in. Right, 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 right. Bob, get up here. Alpha. Bob, please. For the love of Bob. For the love of Bob, just get up here. Oh, my God. She actually was up here. Chuck Testa. Well, this is one hell of an exit, isn't it? Look at this. Look at this. Hopefully, they don't have a Sam launcher. Do they have a Sam launcher in this base? Oh, shit. Oh, Jesus Christ. Damn! <laughs> nice job, Bob! Looks like a human centipede. Whoa, how many did you take down? Took down four. Holy shit, look at him. That's beautiful. Alright, let's go. 